Hello everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing here the market. Wanted to take a look at it here. Holiday week. Uh, market had a big rally yesterday and ended up gapping down this morning and I'll show you that here in a minute. That wasn't a good sign for the market today. Now here into the last half an hour of the trading day the market is trying to get over the high from yesterday. That would be a good sign of some follow through with the market which we did not have in the gap this morning. And then what we will need to do, and I mean, I'll just tell you this right now, we need to get up tomorrow. So we didn't today. We need to do that tomorrow. So the last uh, two trading days of the year are Friday and Monday. And Monday is a half day because of New Year's Eve. So the, the, full, the last full trading day is tomorrow for the market, and it needs to rally. And not only does it need to rally, and we need to open neutral from the close of today, wherever we close, and rally or gap up. Um, the problem is, even if we do that, you know, we'll be just coming up into a, up into an area most likely, but at least it would be some kind of follow through from the market because we've seen very little buying, very little follow through for the last month. So let's just take a look at it. So we hear here, let me just blow it up. Actually here. So this was the rally yesterday and this was not half bad. We gapped up here yesterday, fell, tried to break, couldn't do it, rallied, had the big rally and then fell here this morning we gapped down and then we started to break. Now, if we had broken the low from yesterday, that would have been really bad. I explained this on TV. This is the cheese, this is the bread, and today was the bread when we were red. Now we flipped around, it's a good sign. This is what everyone keeps saying. What do we do, when do we buy, should we jump in? It's never a good idea to get in until you see some real signs of strength in the market. And a one day rally, even though it was big, is really not what I would constitute enough. Now, if you're in the market long term, Again, I'm long-term bullish on the market, but you know, for, for a sustained movement to carry us up on on through this majority of the selling that we've seen for the last two months, we really want to, and to take us back up to the, the highs again, we really want to see some follow through. So we might be getting it here and today into the close. So 246.18 was a high from yesterday. You know, less than a buck here. Mark's gonna try to get over the high from yesterday. That would be a good positive sign for the market. And then a gap up tomorrow with a rally buying that's what you really honestly honestly want to see but i still can't say for certain that this is it because the fact is that we've had such a steep sell-off overall we held the uptrend it's positive for the market i think the market's going to make an attempt here in the and, and i said this i said i thought we'd have a new year's eve rally and if we get over the high today and gap up tomorrow morning the market is going to make an attempt to get at least back up neutral on the year to try to not have a loss on the year. So what do I mean by that? I mean the market opened in the year. Now I'm looking at the SPY here. So we opened at 267.84. Yes. That's not impossible. It's not impossible, but we'd have to have a pretty big gap up for that to happen tomorrow. And then we don't have even two trading days. I don't know. The, mar the market's going to make an attempt. Market's going to attempt to come up back neutral for the year where we opened in between now and December 31st. It's a little late in the game here, though, really. It's a little late in the game because, I mean, the sell-off that we had um, and then the retrace around was yesterday. And yesterday was Wednesday because it was a short week because of Christmas. So a little late in the game, but the market's going to try. So it is going to be a New Year's Eve rally, a New Year's rally. That's what we had yesterday. We're falling through here right now, here into the close. So it's a good sign for this end of the year, but I don't think we're going to be able to get around neutral. We're, the market's going to try. market's going to try, and I, I called it. I called it right. I said, I said, not a Christmas rally. It's going to be a New Year's rally. I said it literally could be the last day of the year, last couple of days of the year, and that's what we're going to do. So uh, here we are going to, looks like we're going to try to get over the high from yesterday. So we need to get up tomorrow morning. Yeah, here, 2.46 is going to be hit. 22 minutes left. So market is going to push here. This is, this, is, this is what I was talking about. This is what you want to see. This is, this is exactly what I'm talking about here. You want to see some follow through. You want to see some buying. You want, to get, you want the market to get some leg under it. Actually, the market looks the best out of anything here. Here's here's the uh, the Dow ETF. This looks better than the SPY. The 
Let's see if this market can do something here in the last two days of the year, but I think it's gonna be late. Actually, let's look here and see if this is going to do this. No, we're, I know we're too far away from this too. Mark's gonna try, but it's just, the market's gonna try to have a closed neutral for the year from where we open. I don't think it's gonna make it in the day and a half, but it's gonna try. Depends how far, how, it depends how big we get up tomorrow morning. So have a wonderful, happy new year, everyone. And uh, we'll see where this market takes us in 2019, but the volatility is here and it's here to stay and you need to be careful. If you would like to learn how to read the market, how to read price action, how to read gaps, how to trade the market, you can take my Golden Gap course. You can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. First class of 2019 is January 12th and 13th. Have a great day, everyone. Here's a spy over 246 over yesterday's high. There you go.